Hello, my name is Scott Hamlin with GamesInAFlash.com. GamesInAFlash.com was the first site to offer licensable and customizable Flash games, and now we're the first company to offer licensable Flash games that export to HTML5. The Flash to HTML5 conversion is made possible by the Google Swiffy extension. This can be found at www.google.com slash doubleclick slash studio slash Swiffy slash that is the URL at this time. Google might change it, so if you don't find it at this URL, do a web search for Swiffy. Now you may be aware of Swiffy, because Swiffy has been around for a couple of years. Google started developing Swiffy in 2011. In fact, if you go to their release notes, you can see that all the way down to the bottom, they started doing updates around July 26th of 2011. And notice that they were starting with animation and simple things like that in Flash. But over the years, Google has quietly been adding additional features to the Google extension. And now it supports a very large portion of ActionScript 2, and they are now starting to support ActionScript 3. Of course, it was around that time that the late Steve Jobs created the current predicament that we're in by not supporting Flash and Apple's iOS devices. As mobile traffic has increased over the years, there's been increasing demand for interactive content that works on mobile browsers. However, with all due respect to Steve Jobs, he essentially lied to the world by implying that HTML5 was ready to replace Flash. But in fact, HTML5 has essentially been bleeding edge for the last few years, and it's only been recently that HTML5 has become a viable solution with all the browsers and with available tools. However, if you shopped around for HTML5 games, you might have found that custom HTML5 games cost thousands of dollars. And the reason is there's very little support for HTML5. Things are very new. There's not a lot of people who can do it. There's very few tools, and those tools are still in their early phase of development. And so HTML5 games can be costly to produce. But with the Google Swiffy extension, we can now leverage Flash games and produce HTML5 games much more cheaply. Now you can get customizable games that export to HTML5 for a fraction of what it would cost to develop them from scratch. And you can find those at gamesinaflash.com. There are a few limitations that you need to be aware of. First of all, there is a one megabyte file size limit, and not all code is supported. And that's why not all of the games at Games in a Flash are available as HTML5 versions. The Google Swiffy extension also does not provide Firefox audio support. However, our games have a workaround for that. In each Flash game that exports to HTML5 from Games in a Flash, we'll include a video showing you that easy workaround. The files that are optimized for Swiffy from Games in a Flash don't work as SWFs. In other words, they don't publish to the normal Flash format. Now, Games in a Flash does offer free updates to their Flash games. If you've licensed a game before that is Flash, then you can get a free update if it exports to Flash. However, the HTML5 versions are not free updates. That said, we do offer a 50% discount to anyone who's licensed the Flash version of the HTML5 game. Also note that since the HTML5 format's key advantage is to be able to make it work on mobile devices, we set all our games to be able to have controls that work on mobile devices. So in other words, games that would normally use a keyboard control, such as a space bar or up, down, left, and right arrows, have alternate controls built into them or we simply don't have HTML5 versions of those games. Finally, the Google Swiffy extension works best with ActionScript 2. Google has, over the last few months, been increasing their support for ActionScript 3. However, we find that ActionScript 2 is the most reliable. The cool thing is, there's a lot of advantages of using Flash to create your HTML5 games. First of all, you have the Adobe Flash environment itself. If you're watching this, the chances are that you already are familiar with Flash, or you know someone that is, or you know that you can easily hire someone. Adobe has something like 3 million Flash users. And of course, the nice thing about Adobe products is that there is a company that supports that product. So you can get support. And it is a very big company, and so you can call, you can email. Just like any company, the support can be frustrating at times, but it is there and that is a key advantage to using Adobe products. You can also find a lot of online resources such as forums and tutorials and just free information online. So you can Google information about how to do something in Flash unlike other tools that are still developing and there's less information out there on things to do. There's a couple things like Canvas and Construct2 and those tools are good tools but they're new and they don't have a lot of people and forums and things that talk about it. Flash has been around for over a decade and there's a lot of information online for free. Of course, another key advantage is what we offer. There's a lot of licensable Flash content out there. 
you can get art, you can get animations, you can get you can get our games. There's all kinds of content out there that you can license to be able to quickly turn around content with Flash. Of course, you may have your own content already. Since Flash has been around so long, you probably have your own content you can utilize. Most Flash developers are used to taking shortcuts such as reusing buttons they've used in the past or button code that they've used in the past or other assets. So a lot of developers have a large library of stuff that they've done in the past that they can utilize for current and future projects. Another great thing about Flash is it's easy to find developers to hire. You can go on Elance and Odesk and sites like that and have developers clamoring over each other for the opportunity to do the custom work that you need to get done. So if you need or if you have clients that need custom HTML5 games, check out gamesinaflash.com for a growing collection of Flash games that export to HTML5 very cheaply and affordably. And check out our new website, mypromogame.com, where we can take any HTML5 game and turn it into a promotional game.